This video is sponsored by Vikings War of Clans. Vikings War of Clans was inspired by the famous strategy and RPG games of the 90s like Red Alert, Tiberium Wars, and others that we all loved and played with a dedication that today's youngsters will never understand. What makes Vikings World so addictive is that more than 20 million online players are constantly changing the way the game evolves by never-ending fighting over resources, forging new alliances, and competing in live events. Download Vikings for free and support the infographic show at the same time by clicking the links in the description below. With our links, you'll also receive a special bonus of 200 gold coins and a protective shield. Don't forget to look us up in-game and join our Vikings clan. Our nickname in the game is the infographic show, spelled as one word. Now, let's move on to the main part of our video. 2019 looks set to be an interesting year for all of us here on planet Earth. But what can we predict will and won't happen? Well, nobody here at the Infographic Show has a crystal ball, but there are a few events that make the collective mind shudder. From civilian destroying robots to new superbugs and potential asteroid collisions, today we take a look into the future at events that look set to take place between now and the end of 2019. Get ready as we glance at the dark new year that awaits us in this episode of the Infographic Show, Horrible Things That Will Happen in 2019. Some of us look towards the future as a time and a place when all our problems will disappear, while others look into the future as a dark, bleak wasteland where our greatest dreams will be dashed and our worst nightmares realized. With new technological advances offering solutions to problems that don't exist, to new incurable diseases and bizarre weather patterns, we are moving into a new age on a planet where the only constant is change. Lethal Autonomous Robots, or LARS, set look for deployment within the next 12 months. These military killing machines will be sent into war zones in lieu of real-life humans. Yes, Robocop is a reality, and it is soon to be let loose in war zones. The reasoning behind this is simple enough to understand. Sending robots into war zones saves lives. Well, it saves lives on the side of the robot controllers. It would also save money. Robot soldiers won't require pay and don't need to be fed, clothed, or housed. When they are blown to bits by the opposing side, they have no family to compensate. They require no pensions. However, recent experiments have proven that these robot killing machines let loose in war zones result in massive civilian casualties and an increase in extremism from the opposing forces. If drone attacks are leading more people to adopt an anti-Western attitude, it is a real cause for concern to consider just what danger these lethal autonomous robots will cause to world security. Increased surveillance will be a major feature of 2019. From the information we share on social media, searches we make on Google, to cameras on the streets and in the shopping malls, surveillance will be everywhere. Taxis in Singapore are already equipped with surveillance equipment, and in London, most of the city is under constant surveillance. Our privacy is a thing of the past, and this loss of individual freedom is only set to increase in 2019. In the USA, the FBI routinely deploys drones to survey its subjects. These domestic drones are around the size of a model airplane and are used exclusively for surveillance. Scientists are also close to constructing fully autonomous WASP-sized drones. Once this breakthrough occurs, cities will be buzzing with microscopic cameras monitoring our every movement. And don't expect to be warned in advance. This technology is very close to being launched, and when it is, we will be the last to know. Untreatable strains of the sexually transmitted disease gonorrhea are on the rise and set to become a truly horrible problem in 2019. The World Health Organization has confirmed that last resort antibiotic medications are totally ineffective in curing this new super gonorrhea. Gonorrhea is the second most common bacterial transmitted infection in the UK after chlamydia with around 35,000 cases reported each year. Each time a new drug is introduced to combat the condition, the bug develops a resistance to it. The new super strain has been reported in Japan, France, the UK, and Spain. And this could be just the tip of the iceberg, as many cases go unreported. If this new super-resistant strain spreads in 2019, it will lead to fertility complications. Babies born from infected mothers are often born blind. Scientists spotted a huge asteroid that is heading towards Earth that could possibly destroy humanity on February 1st, 2019. According to a London Telegraph article, preliminary calculations suggested that the asteroid will be traveling at 18 miles a second and its impact velocity would be enough to wipe out a continent and throw up enough dust to block out the sun, causing devastation to the world's food supply. Dr. Alan Fitzsimmons of Queen's University Belfast and a scientist with the National Space Project commented, Since it was first discovered, it has only moved across a small fraction of the sky. Although we know roughly where it is going, its orbit needs to be refined. The orbit has been calculated every day, but we need another few weeks before we can get a precise orbit. 
Although Dr. Pizer, a fellow scientist, countered by saying, in all likelihood, in a couple of months, additional observations will eliminate this object from the list of potential impacts. I'm very confident that additional observations over time will show that it is actually not on a collision course with Earth. Pollution is an obvious concern for 2019, with scientists predicting that, in the near future, there will be more plastic in the sea than there are fish. Plastic pollution is the accumulation of waste plastic material that can afflict land, waterways, and oceans. Marine animals become entangled in these plastic objects, or they can simply digest the waste plastic. To whales and other large marine creatures, waste plastic bags floating around in the ocean look like smaller marine animals and are eaten, causing death. As of 2018, around 380 million tons of plastic will have been produced worldwide, and much of this finds its way into the ocean. If the world as a whole does not address this issue in 2019, much of our marine life will die. At present, studies show that 90% of seabirds' bodies contain plastic debris. So, what are your predictions and or fears for 2019? What horrible things will happen and is there anything we can do to stop them? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Also, be sure to watch our other video called What Does Acid Rain Do to Your Body? Thanks for watching, and as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time!